All right, welcome to Creator Hardware. And today, well, I'm deprecating my Proxmox server for a new build. Now, why am I deprecating this is actually because I want to steal the parts. My daughter wants a dedicated gaming machine. They currently share with my son the same gaming system. And well, he's got a PS5 and she doesn't want to game in the same room while he's playing PS5, so she wants one for her bedroom. So I'm going to steal this. Quickly, it's a 9900K, used to be my editing PC, used to be my gaming PC, and now it's my Proxmox server. But I'm stealing parts from it. Now, the hardware for the new system is going to be an ASRock H510M Micro ATX and a 10700K. Now, I was planning on initially building her new system with a 10700K. The problem is, is Z boards, even ATX boards are really hard to come by and they're really, really expensive. This wasn't that expensive. So I'm like, okay, I've got a Z board for the 9900K. It overclocks to five gigahertz. Just swap that in and she'll be fine. She doesn't play intensive games. She plays Sim and Rainbow Six Siege with her boyfriend. So we're going to do that, but we got to get some first a little bit of stuff out of Proxmox server, and then we'll start building up the new server. <clears throat> All right, first things first, we got to get this one torn down. I'm going to go ahead and be reusing this drive in the new system. Now we will be reusing this cooler for the new Proxmox server and as well as the SSD, but we're also going to be stealing a couple fans out of here. And we'll leave the one fan in here as well as the power supply for now. This will be used in my daughter's gaming PC, it's a 50 watt NZXT, but we got it all about stripped down SSD and Cooler off. Thermal pad got a little, little, little messed up, but it'll be fine. Proxmox install. Now I've got a more substantial cooler for my daughter's build from Be Quiet. So this will be reused on the Proxmox install. Ouch. There we go. Plenty of thermal paste. <laughs> Nobody can accuse me of not using enough thermal paste. Of course, isopropyl alcohol. <laughs> If I remember correctly, I used MX6 on this instead of MX4 or anything else, and I don't think I like that, as nobody else did, that thermal paste. There it goes. Got that. Now, of course, there's only two dim slots, so it's pretty easy to put them in right.
Let's see if our cooler bracket still goes on this. It does. And that's why I'm not really worried about 10700 versus 9100K because they're basically the same. Go ahead and slot in our Proxmox install. May wind up overheating. We shall see. Here we go. Let's use some good old fashioned MX4. Sure, probably too much, but of course with these coolers, screw until they stop. When they stop, you're done. All right. We got our fan, which just need to put our fan coats back on. Ow. And basically our platform is ready to go. So quick note, my wireless mic uh, decided to die during this segment, didn't realize it, so I kind of have to do this in voiceover fashion. So first off, we went, I went ahead and replaced the Molex fans with the Noctua's out of the old Proxmox build. I also installed the Samsung drive in the bracket on the bottom because that's virtual machines and all that. I also installed the power supply it's just a cheapy ATX power supply that I've used several times and they do, they work. So putting in the uh, back plate and then we're going to go ahead and put the motherboard in a quick note about the standoffs there. It's missing one. It just does not have a option for it. There's no hole in it. So the end of the board will be a little unsupported, but um, it's fine. Go ahead and mount up the board here. Now, problem with the motherboard is the USBs <laughs> because they're combos and it 
doesn't reach to both ports. So I had to make a decision. And so I plugged it in on the 3.0 side. Nothing I can do about it. I rarely use front IO on a server anyway, so not really worried about it. But uh, unfortunately, with the way this case is set up and how the board is set up, there's no port for it. So one or the other. Getting all my uh, power cables hooked up to everything. Pretty normal stuff. Hooking up the SATA power to that drive, as well as hooking up SATA cable that came with the motherboard. So I'm using a fan splitter to split the two Noctua's into one. I don't know where I came from. I just have it. So hooking up the fans to one header. It's two little small fans. Should be fine for a normal fan header. And it's really, really quiet. I did the front panel connector off screen because I need my old man glasses and really can't see them without getting the cameras out of the way. So back to the rest of the video. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do the first boot. And we should get into the motherboard BIOS. Thirty-eight degrees. All of our RAM is showing up. Both drives are showing up. Fans are showing up, and it is really quiet. So I'm really happy about that. Give them a RAM overclocking real quick. Oh, this board only goes to 2933, so we'll go ahead and hit that. See if it reboots, and then we'll see if we're into Proxmox. We are, so we'll go ahead and I gotta do some configuration on that. I'm not gonna do it on camera, but we should be logging in to Proxmox. So we're in Proxmox. Now all I gotta do is do the setup for the network and all that kind of stuff. We're good to go. So I'm not gonna do that on camera probably pretty boring. So hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching. This is Creator Hardware.